what it do boo <laughs> it is the gifted old dime your favorite voodoo sign the real voodoo sign in this bitch um i'm gonna do a reading on miss alisa lamb here okay um this is a, a famous why why would this pick up why would this do this close i don't Okay, so this is a very um, popular case. It's like a scary ass case because it's very eerie. Um, and I'm gonna put a link in the bio. So if you never heard of this case, which I feel like everybody has heard about this case. It's kind of like the John Bonet Ramsey. Like everybody heard of John Bonet Ramsey case, even hood niggas. Anybody knows about John Bonet Ramsey or whatever. So I feel like it's the same for Elisa Lamb. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read to you what <laughs> I just got a text from the home girl. I know what I know because I'm psychic, but, <laughs> um, she just confirmed something for me. So, so we're going to get into the, uh, disturbing death of Elisa Lamb. On January 26, 2013, 21-year-old Canadian tourist Elisa Lam checked into the Cecile Hotel in downtown L.A. when she never checked out on February 1st, nor had any contact with her parents, the Los Angeles police um, was contacted. On, the, on February 19th, 18 days from the last time she was seen, Elisa Lam's body was found floating and naked in a water tank on the roof of the Cecile Hotel. Her body was found due to hotel guest complaints about the hotel's water pressure. One couple even reported the water was coming out black and had a bad taste. So somebody tasted Elisa's deceased water juices. Um... According to the hotel's manager, when Elisa Lamb had originally checked in, she was staying at a hostel-style room with other travelers, but later was moved to her own private room due to complaints from her roommates about odd behavior. The last time she was seen was on surveillance footage on the hotel's elevator. The footage showed Lamb acting strange and peculiar, almost like she was hiding. She also moved her hands in weird and inhumane ways and it looked like she was talking to someone who was out of the security camera's view after her body and the surveillance footage footage was found it was suggested she was on some sort of hallucinogenic drug even though lamb took four different medications for her bipolar disorder tox toxicology studies reported that there were no traces of any drug or alcohol that could contribute to her death there was also a theory that she was murdered and died as a result of drowning, but the autopsy, autopsy report showed no evidence of trauma. To this day, no one knows how she was able to access the roof or climb into the water tank and shut the 20 pound lid by herself. <laughs> so this, she was found in a water tank with a 20 pound lid. She shut it on herself. Um, no one knows how she was able to climb in the water tank and shut the 20 pound lid by herself. Okay, 20 pounds is not heavy. 20 pounds ain't heavy. It ain't that heavy, but it's some weight. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you're in a water tank and you reaching up this big ass water tank. You reaching up and closing it on yourself. Okay, so her it's just scary. It's just scary. And I'm going to get right to the motherfucking juice. I'm going to get right to the motherfucking juice um about what the fuck happened because i don't have no time to spare <laughs> i don't have time to spare this case i've always wondered about this case even before i started doing readings this case has fascinated me i think i'm gonna link down another youtuber's breakdown of the case because they have like footage of it and stuff like that and it's just so eerie seeing her on camera what the fuck happened to her um you could tell that she was not in her right mind and you could tell that there was some type of spiritual thing going on with her because she just looked like she was dazed and confused. Like, she didn't know what was going on. So, let's look into Elisa Lamb and see what the hell happened to her, okay, on this case.
she was definitely murdered. Um, what I get is the suspects, the suspect lives near the scene of the crime. Okay. So this person, what I get from this though is, okay. Additional evidence at the scene may be discovered. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I was saying. Let me focus. Suspect lives near the scene of the crime. So I feel that this is somebody that was in the hotel intuitively. I feel like this is somebody that was in the hotel Killer may have an item belonging to the victim. Killer may be killer may currently be in prison for another crime. Okay, so maybe they didn't look through this scene very correctly. Didn't interview everybody that they feel that they should have interviewed. Um, but maybe the scene was not even looked at in the correct way because there's still there was there was additional evidence that they sh they could have collected that they probably missed so killer may have an item belonging to the victim it says killer may have an item belonging to the victim so they do have something that they do they did take something from her either off her body maybe an item of clothing that she had on or something i don't know about what evidence that they that they all collected at the scene of the crime but there may be some additional type of um something that she carried with her um some type of jewelry piece or something that um we can't we don't know what happened to it and this person did take it from her um this person may be in jail this person may be in jail and the victim did not know the killer they did not know she did not she was not aware of who this man was um who this person was that was coming after her looking at her or stalking her she was not aware of this okay but this person um probably is in jail now because i think this happened in 2016 so this person is probably in jail for something else at this point um yeah for something totally different that had nothing to do with her crime but they're probably being probably in jail because they're a criminal um now let's get it what happened to elisa lamb I'll be needing the real tea first i'm sorry i know i'll be doing shit all sporadically and backwards and shit like that but I be needing a real tea. Okay, so what happened to Elisa Lamb? And what date? What date was this? This was January twenty sixth, two thousand thirteen. January twenty sixth, two thousand thirteen. Oh, okay. Let's see. What happened to Elisa Lamb? What happened to Elisa Lamb that day? What happened? What happened? How was she found in... How did she end up in the water tank? How did Elisa Lamb end up in the water tank? How did she end up in the water tank? She went up there with somebody. I feel that somebody lured her up there. Okay. We have the, the missing of boundaries, but then we have the three of pentacles here. I believe that somebody lured her up here. They were crossing boundaries. Do you see how his face looks? You probably can't. I don't know if you can see it, how his face looks, how he looks like he's kind of in despair or just uncomfortable, um, like his stomach hurt or something um she may have been going through some physical issues like her body you know what i'm saying when it came to holding down food or just uh her appetite that kind of thing so she was kind of feeling um very uncomfortable when around this person but i do feel like she went up there with someone with this three of cups and that um that she was lured. I also got the two of wands. So I do see her going up there. And as you can see, he's high up. 
he's high up so she did go up there but i feel like with these people in the background that she was a lord like they were kind of walking ahead of her like walking ahead of her um clarify this queen of swords i also had the queen of swords here Mm. she was lured up there elisa lamb was lured up there this is so sad and scary like oh my god because it's like unsolved this case they don't know how she got there um but she was lured up there um They had some type of interaction when they got up there. Some type of altercation, interaction when they reached to the top of wherever those water tanks were. So, mm, this person got immediately aggressive with her when she when she when they got up there. She was very innocent and lighthearted. Um. like airy i just feel like she's just kind of like okay you know um some people can observe vulnerability and they can pick you out you know what i'm saying they can see when something is off with you wrong with you or whatever and um they'll pick you out of a, of a crowd and i feel that um there was some type of altercation when they got to the top of the uh building the rooftop so let me see here yeah, she definitely went up there with someone. And describe this person. Who does she go? Who does she go up there with? Who did she go up there with? Who did she go up there with? Who did Elisa Lamb go up there with? Describe the person that Elisa Lamb went up, up to the water tanks, up to the rooftop with. Describe who Elisa Lamb went up to the rooftops with. The King of Pentacles, a worker, somebody who worked there. Somebody who worked there who has a criminal background. They need to check the people who have a criminal background. Once again, we get the chariot. We get intentional movement, okay? Describe the person. This person's intense. Was this a worker or, and or did I speak too soon? Did this person work there? Did this person work there? No. I got the card for the moon, which lets me know that he was just staying there, like staying the night there. Um, No. Clarify again. Was this person working there? No, this was kind of like um, what he can afford at the time, and then he was gonna he was gonna leave jet after go to his next place. Um, I also get the the three of wands, okay, which lets me know that he was a traveler, um, and I get the five of pentacles as well, letting me know that he is somebody who um, is kind of like a bad person. He comes from. He has a criminal background. He comes from like a poverty type background, poverty home. Um, this person was not a, a good person. And um, I feel that this person is either um, Hispanic. And or bilingual. Excuse my nephew. He's downstairs having fun. <laughs> um this guy is younger he's a younger man because i do get the pages 
but he is younger and even with the knights he, he this guy is a younger man maybe in his 30s early 30s 33 34 33 between 30 32 to 36 um He was hard on cash, hard on money. Yep, seven. A pen. Would do little jobs here and there for money. Um, yeah, this man um, is kind of like a roamer. A roamer. They just he go. He just travels. Goes and it's like almost like where can I uh, lay my head down kind of thing like I'll, I'll do this and work here so i can lay my head down here and it's like he will make a few bucks just so he can get a hotel room that kind of thing that's the energy that i get from the guy that did this to her okay so it wasn't necessarily a worker it wasn't a worker but this person definitely um who chill spotted her out Where did this man go after Lisa, Elisa Lamb was... Okay, well, it this was in January. At the end of January, she got found like two weeks later, I think. So, where was the man at when Elisa Lamb's body was found? Where was the man at when Elisa Lamb's body was found? nowhere to be found he left her by herself that was it he just left her um he immediately left out there with his six of wands and this nine of wands he immediately left um let me see here clarify this queen of wands He may have stole her goods. I think that he stole something from her. He has something of hers. And yeah. With the four of pentacles and the five of cups. He stole something from her. A, a, like memorabilia. Um, of Elisa. And this. Ooh this is so sinister. Um, five of cups. He wanted to be away from it with this five of cups. He didn't want to be around it. Um, as you can see, this water here in the background. He did not want to be there when she was discovered. Um, when her body was discovered. Okay. Had this man already committed murders before? Has this man already committed murders before? He was just an aggressive kind of person, like very angry, mad, not a happy person. Um, has this man committed murders before? I don't think that he's actually committed a murder before. This may have been his first, but he has a very like shaky type of background. He's very much a criminal not to be trusted, like liable to do anything. And you don't really know what would tick him off or take him that far you know what i'm saying so this is what i'm getting with this um five of wands <laughs> um i don't think will this man ever i don't think he'll ever be discovered I don't think he'll ever be discovered. Um, will this man ever be found out? Like, will we ever find out who killed Elisa Lamb?
Will we ever find out who killed Elisa Lamb? I feel like there's a possibility that some woman may have the information. Some woman that this guy was in a relationship with, okay? So maybe an ex-girlfriend, a past lover um, that dated this person that killed Elisa Lam. Um, they may step forward and release some information or yeah they may go to the police they may go to the lapd or something and say what what they know about what happened like oh i have some more details you know some type of anonymous caller type of thing but there is possibly a woman that does have more information about this case that can really put this is like an unsolved mystery and they can pop they can solve this case um yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Strength card, and then I do have the Eight of Pentacles as the last card. Let me clarify this Eight of Pentacles. I keep getting these pages. This boy done said this. This is somebody that knows him, that knows this be, this boy, this know this the guy who acts just so dumb and retarded. Um, they know him, and um. They watch him do stuff. They watch him do other crimes, commit other crimes, do other stuff, and they know his personality very well. So whatever information that has been... I don't know why I'm... Um, this is interesting. I'm smelling like like baby formula or baby milk. So maybe he has a baby mama. Um, maybe this... Yeah, maybe this is his baby mama or something. But... Hmm... And this woman may be a few years older than the killer. This woman may be an older type of woman. Woman. Okay, so strength card was under that, the Ace of Cups. It's a possibility if this woman does step forward. Let me um, clarify with this deck. What, what other info can we get about this case? What next? I mean, um... Yeah, what what else info can we get about this case? Will this case ever be solved? I'm getting victim didn't know the killer again. This crime may be solved by DNA testing or other scientific methods. There's more evidence, more evidence to be collected to find to solve this. Suspect lives near the scene of the crime. We've we've already we already went through this we already seen these like the victim didn't know the killer and suspect lives near the scene of the crime so they need to look into everybody who checked in they need to look more into that they didn't i don't feel like they did a good job um, I know that they had a documentary on Netflix. <sighs> I did watch it, but then it's like, I don't fucking remember it. <laughs> I really don't remember it. Um, I remember how that white woman was looking, though. And she was looking, like, ashamed and stuff like that. But I don't really remember uh, if they interviewed everybody that was on her floor and everybody in the hotel. It's like how can they interview everybody that was in the hotel but like i said this man oh she was staying in a hostel so that would make sense it had it's somebody that she came across that was kind of speaking to her but i feel like the money that this person this the way this person lived is kind of like they would do little jobs or whatever just to make enough so they can have a place to lay their head down or to do whatever you know what i'm saying so this person definitely had a criminal background but yeah dna they need to go and um i mean i'm sure the scene is contaminated i don't know by now but there was more evidence to be collected at that scene um a closer observation of the victim's living space may provide clues 
they need to go and check where she was last staying at the last room that she stayed in um well it's i don't it's, I, i'm sure they've been renting out the room or whatever but there's evidence of something maybe a letter maybe a note that she wrote to herself what kind of evidence is at the um is at the hotel or the private room that she was in what else kind of information is in that room or that living space that she was staying in I feel that she wrote down her thoughts or something. If she had like a, a journal or a notepad that she would carry around and she would write certain things down. I see that she also kept going in and out of her room, like just going in and out. I don't know how long her stay was at the the um at the hotel. I don't know how long her stay was, but I just see her kind of going in and out, in and out of her room. Um, I believe that this person came in her room at one point, or she stayed she she stayed in the hostel, the original room with him. I think she either stayed in the original room with him, or. or because I'm seeing multiple people, okay? I'm seeing multiple people. So I just feel like there was people going in and out. And this may have been the first, ho the, the people in the first hostel that she was staying in, the first room that she was staying in. They need to interview them people again because it may be one of them. Um... This is somebody, okay, so the Cecile Hotel, let me tell y'all, because I live out here, and I used to drive the bus down there. Um, That's not somewhere you want to be at. Like, you don't want to be down there by the Cecile Hotel. I don't trust nobody walking down them damn streets. Um, Like, it's it's just not safe. It's just not safe to be walking down there. Um, Especially if you are a woman alone, it's just not safe. It's really not safe. You're in Skid Row. Please look up Los Angeles Skid Row. Um... 6th six, six Street, you know what I'm saying? I forgot the name of the damn streets down there. But please look it up and see how that shit looks. It's not, it's not safe. I feel like this person may have even been, they do crimes out there. They do like little stuff that's out there for survival. This person is, this guy is in survival mode. So I'm just seeing that. He also wanted to steal from her. Yeah. Man, this is real sad. So, um I think I'm a end it there. I don't think that we're going to get like I don't think it's going to be solved. I don't I don't think that this case is going to be solved because the answers that I'm getting is kind of like check the lit check where she was staying at check for more stuff but i'm sure that they done remodeled stuff you know did stuff earlier i mean did more stuff and then it uh we all know that um after her death that there was a spike in people trying to rent out rooms and stuff like that and come see where she was at and stuff like that um, more for entertainment purposes. So what I'm getting is that um, I, it's, it's probably not going to be solved. And that um, the information, whatever information is that was there is very scarce. You probably, it's gone. I don't feel that any of this stuff is like still there. Um, 
no but i do feel like somebody that was going in and out of her room before she switched rooms i don't know how long her stay was i feel like it was over a week it was some type of like an extended stay or something like that and this person was able to watch her stalk her i see her going yeah in and out the room this person was able to watch her and stalk her and once again like i always say please please do not trust anybody when you are traveling especially by yourself or even with a friend a homegirl please please do not talk to these men do not talk to these people out here even if you are a man that are, that you're traveling um women are dangerous as well women will set you up women will do certain they, shit that's female killers um that do weird crazy stuff you know what i'm saying so just be careful when you're out doing stuff not everybody has their best has your best interest there are a lot of people out here that are extremely extremely evil extremely just demented um and they just don't care they don't have a conscience so be careful when you're out here um dealing with people <sighs> but people will watch you so yeah it was definitely a man involved um this is not something that she did by herself um this man led her up there there was some type of fire altercation i believe that this man tried to rape her um or sexually assault her and um you know have you ever had like a cousin or something like pick you up and throw you in the pool? Please tell me. Can y'all describe to me how this man got hurt in the tank? Just tell me, please. How did this man get hurt in the tank? this man get her in the tank Oops. how did this man get her in the tank He just gained her trust. That's what I see with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. He gained her trust. Um, yeah, made made her trust him. That's the high priestess right there. Um, let her, made her put down her guard, made her feel like whatever type of uh anxiety and and warnings that she was feeling was incorrect and that she was just nervous or whatever that's the kind of energy that i'm getting behind how he got her in there um i do have the ten of pentacles the two of cups and a two of wands so you're seeing the twos um though it was just like he wanted to talk to her like he was as if he was interested in her or something like and he got her to trust him to go up there to travel up there once again we're getting the two of wands this is the other card like when i asked the other question like how did she get in the tank in the first place or whatever question i asked i got the two of wands again and what she's up here okay um i feel that either what did he do did he grab her though like what did he do what did he do what did he do? I don't even know how these if these if this deck can tell me. What did he do? Let me this is the card that I see right now. There were some threats made.
Oh, this is really, really scary. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that he gave her a choice. Because then I have the pyramid, which is the tower. Okay. And then I have the temperance card. I feel like there was a choice made with this three of wands here. Either I feel, oh Lord, I think they got into an altercation and it was like, either I'm going to throw you in this tank or I'm going to push you off this building. Please clarify. What are y'all talking about? Okay, I have the death card here. Okay, so there was some type of ultimatum that he gave her. Woo, this is scary. Oh, what card is this? Oh, that's the Nine of Swords. This is scary. Either he was going to push her off the roof or she was going to have to get in that water. Yeah, then I have the justice card. Um, yeah, that was an ultimatum. He made a choice for her. That's the Libra scales. The justice card is them, them Libra scales, making a choice, bringing balance or whatever, making a decision. He gave her a choice that she was either going to go in that tank or she was going to get thrown off that roof. Yeah, there was, he was going to kill her either way. There was no... He, he didn't... He, why did he do this? Why? 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 Why did this man do this? Why? Because this, I don't... Why was he so... Why did he want to hurt this girl like this? Why did he do this? Like, people are evil. Evil. Why did he do this to Elisa Lamb? Why did this man... Why, would, why did this man threaten her and give her no choice but to die? Why did he do that? Why did this man do that? I can't get into the Ten of Pentacles. What the fuck? The Queen of Cups again. I feel that there was some rejection. Yeah, then I have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There was some type of reject rejection. He had the spirit of like murder on him. And um I there was some type of proposal, rejection. Um was did this girl have money? Did Elisa Lamb have money? I feel like he was questioning her about her family, trying to get in her personal business, that kind of thing. She wasn't feeling it. She was just like, mm, I don't really know what you're talking about. I don't really, I'm not interested. But he gave her no choice. He gave her no choice um, but to get in that water. Yep, and then under that, I have the Five of Pentacles. Yo, this is scary. You got to be careful. People are fucking evil as hell. Like, evil. Like, why would you do that to somebody? Why would you do that to somebody? I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, reading here. Um, rest in peace, Elisa Lamb. That's very, very unfortunate. Um what happened to you that's so unfortunate that you came across like you came across somebody so fucking evil like that um 
I hope that the woman that um, knows some of this information or has an inclination of what the fuck happened, I hope that she comes forward eventually and does it because it's also regarding these people willpower. They have the will to do this. Um, what is the consequence? I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I know I keep saying I'm going to end it here. What is the consequence? of this man doing this because it's like what what is the spiritual consequence of this man doing this to elisa lamb because they said that, he, that he's possibly in jail right now for something else that has nothing to do with a murder or a death so what um what spiritual consequences will this man receive or endure for the murder of elisa lamb for the murder of Elisa Lamb. He's not going to have a good life. Okay. He's not going to have a good life from here. Um, his ancestral treasury is all the way fucked up. Okay. Disconnection from his self, his higher self. I had the high priestess in reverse. I keep getting this ten, ten of pentacles. He's not going to have the type of family life or the bond that he's looking for in life. Because even though he's crazy as hell, he really really he has a lot of trauma when it comes to the family dynamic and the family um function okay because he comes from a very dysfunctional background um his happiness is revoked he will he's his happiness is revoked happiness revoked comfortability re revoked no and he's going to continue to be a wanderer, a lost puppy with this fool at the bottom of the deck. He's going to be con continue to be a lost little wanderer, um, never getting anywhere in life. He'll never be happy, ever. He will always struggle and be discontent. Discontent. I think this man has a kid, has a family like a like a wife or like a girlfriend like a long time girlfriend or or like a ex-wife or some shit like that he has somebody um that he calls on um and shares certain intimate details with so now i'm gonna go ahead and end it so thank you all for watching um don't forget i do have um my podcast the hood prophetess the gifted odon on apple spotify and google and um yep yeah, i hope that you come and join the listen join the audience bye